Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a rock called Peat the Peelite. Peat lived at the bottom of the Tethys Ocean, between the Indian subcontinent and Eurasia, along with lots of other rocks, like Karen the Carbonate and Sam the Samite. Over time, Peat and the other rocks grew and grew, as more and more sediment fell to the bottom of the sea floor. Peat had always dreamt that when he grew up, he was going to be a nice rock. No, a nice rock. To do that, Peat had to go through a transformation. He had to get stronger and tougher, to be able to withstand high temperatures and pressures. The best place for him to do that was inside a mountain chain. But how was he going to get onto the land and into a mountain? It was then, around 50 million years ago, that an opportunity presented itself. The Tethys Ocean was closing up and the Indian subcontinent was moving northward, which meant that Pete and his friends were moving northward too. Eventually, India collided with Eurasia with a big crash. The rocks were squeezed and jumbled up to form the Himalayan mountains. It was a scary time for the seafloor rocks. Pete found himself buried deep under lots of other rocks, but this only made Pete stronger. Temperatures rose and pressures increased, but this didn't face Pete. He just grew new minerals in response to the changing conditions. And in the end, his dream came true. Pete became a nice, one of the greatest rocks of all. As Pete got older, he got to a stage in his life where he was ready to make some new rocks of his own. With the help of a little bit of water, Pete was able to produce Lucy, the leucogranite. As a present to Lucy, Pete gave her one of his favourite minerals, kyanite, so that she would always remember where she came from. And this is where I come in. As a geologist, it is my job to tell the stories of these rocks. I met rocks like Pete and Lucy in 2017, when I travelled to Bhutan in the eastern Himalaya for fieldwork. My PhD project is to look at these rocks and find out about their life stories and tell the world their tales in the biography of a mountain.